What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time clicking on, welcome to Low Country Fishing. My name is Dan. I fish all over coastal Georgia as well as the low country of South Carolina. Now recently you guys, I, have, uh, I haven't been able to put a video out in a couple weeks because I've been sick. Uh, my kids got me sick. I barely have enough voice honestly to do this video. Um, but I'm gonna get it, uh, I'm gonna try to get myself together and do the best I can. Um, I got some good news that I wanna share with you guys. Uh, one, the first thing is, is uh, I've been asked by Judson Brock to do a, uh, a podcast with him on Eastern Current. Uh, so if you guys are interested in checking out that podcast, um, I will uh, do a video specifically on that, letting you guys know when that podcast is gonna be going out. But Judson's wanting to do something with me. And I told him, I can't do it this week, brother, because my voice is barely holding on. So maybe next week will be uh, when we get in there and record that podcast. And I'll get the date for you uh, whenever that podcast release. But super excited to get on, uh, on the podcast with him and just uh, talk fishing. Second thing, uh, this is something that's very important to me, you guys. So I started low country fishing about 14 months ago. Uh, I was basically fishing, starting to become extremely consistent. And my wife told me one day, hey, Dan, why don't you get out there and take a GoPro and see what happens? Well, you guys, that is exactly what I did. And we are at 5,000 subscribers later. And I tell you guys, I wanted to thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for uh, just the audience that you have provided for me. Thank you for the positive feedback, for all the positive vibes that you give me. Um, it is you guys that allows me to continue doing what I'm doing. Uh, honestly, I probably would have stopped this a long time ago and just went right back to fishing if it wasn't for the positivity that you got positivity <laughs> that you guys are giving me. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, so what I want to do, you guys, honestly, is I'm going to do a giveaway. I've got a whole box full of all kinds of really neat stuff that I've been collecting, uh, purchasing and buying with my own money. And uh, I want to do a giveaway for you guys. So in order for you guys to win this giveaway, here's all you got to do. One. You gotta like this video. Uh, honestly, if you haven't been liking the videos and you like the videos, I don't know why you just can't push the button and like it, just kick it. And the second thing is just leave me a positive comment down below. Uh, if you guys have gotten anything out of this channel, uh, if you like the entertainment value, if like the teaching, the coaching value, the whatever I may do, and you got something out of it, I would love to hear about it. Uh, but listen, you guys, if you put those two things into the, uh, the, the like in the comment section of this video, I will basically put all these names into a uh, random comment generator and pull a winner and I'll do a specific video for that winner and show you guys exactly all the prizes that the winner is going to get. Uh, it's just honestly a way for me to give back to you guys and to say thank you. So let's talk about fishing. Today you guys, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to do something brand new. Um, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Last fall I was out fishing around the Savannah jetties uh, around Cocksburg Island Lighthouse. And I was honestly taking uh, 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 an observation of everything that's going on, when these container ships move in and out, how much water it displaces, what kind of wake does it throw, because I've been wanting to get out here and to fish it. And honestly, it's time to get out here and fish these things. There have been some really good reports coming in lately of big jacks, big redfish, not to mention normal size slot, redfish, flounder, trout are all out there as well as sheep's head all year round. Uh, it's just a really, really nice ecosystem. If you think about it, bait current structure nearby depth change, this jetty system has all of that. And I'm just excited to get out here and hopefully hook into something big. So I got a couple of my uh, Pin Battle uh, 2 6000s. I got them behind me rigged up and ready to go. 50 pound Power Pro, 80 pound Mono Leader, Two normal size inshore rods, just kind of to throw something top water in case I bump into some jacks on the top. Maybe you throw something around, see if I can catch some trout. I'm also bringing the seven foot cast net, see if I can catch some mullet and some uh, live pogies on my way out. And that's kind of the plan, you guys, uh, just to see if I can get out here, hook something big or hook some nice quality size fish. It's been a while since I've been on a real big fish bite. I've been uh, doing pretty good with the uh, trout flounder lately. Uh, but it's time to get out here and it's time to double this rod over and put some big quality fish on the boat. So that's the plan, you guys. Just wanted to share all this with you. Thank you guys again for the support. If you haven't got a chance to subscribe to Low Country Fishing and you enjoy these videos, don't forget, hit that button and I'll see you guys out the first spot.
see what we got here. It's still there. <laughs> Easy. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit of color. I see the lead weight. And shark. Ay, 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 ay. What is that? Come on up. Looks like a maybe a black tip I'll be honest with you guys I do not know my shark variety my shark species that well so if you would like to comment in the comment section below what kind of shark this is by all means let me know cool thing is I got the drone out there flying the drones picking up all this oh and the back of the rods the, the rear rods going off now all right let's see if we can make this quick with this guy come here buddy I may just cut this hook if he gets crazy. Come here. Come here. There we go. All right, where you got? Where you got? Open your mouth. Nope. Oh. One more try and then I'm done. All right, we're done. We are going to cut this guy as short as we can. Thanks for playing, player. All right, that's out of the way. Now let's go see what's over here running sideways. <laughs> of course, of course everything happens at once. All right, let's see, who are you? Who are you? What if I hook now? That feels like a shark. It's amazing I haven't gotten bitten off yet. These circle hooks are so nice. They really do protect the fish. They keep the fish from swallowing it. And then once it does uh, grab, it usually grabs right in the corner of that mouth, avoiding the teeth and whatnot. This guy's not happy. I'm getting my workout in today. I ain't got to go to the gym, that's for sure. All right, yep, another shark. Well, he got in the trolling motor anyway and got off. And that time, he officially took my D-hooker. Boy, this is gonna be fun. Two sharks already within the first couple of minutes. Is the, is the lens wet? It's gotta be wet. He's out here trying to ruin my TV show. All right, well, I got two rods I gotta re-rig now, so let's go ahead and get them rigged up and get this drone in before the battery gets too low. All right, so this is my three ounce egg sinker. Let's send it back. Kind of somewhere in there. Drop this drag off. That way I don't lose my rod if I get a big fish. And this guy's gonna go to the left a little bit more towards that eddy. I don't know if I can reach it to be honest. We'll see. Yeah, not bad. I might let it drift back there. All right. Loosen that drag. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now we're set up, this is what I wanted. All right, so I got some of these little pilchards that I keep calling chummies, uh, cause I'm gonna chum with them. So I'm gonna take my little 
Cuda scissors. I got this on Amazon. These are really nice uh, quality. They're, um, I think I might have paid 18, 20 bucks for it, something like that. They're not terribly expensive, but they're apparently made of titanium, so it's got a cool titanium factor on its own. <laughs> but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, cut these guys into little bite-sized pieces and try to get some stink out here in the water, just like that. So I'll cut up probably two or three. Um, about every 15 minutes or so and see if I can start to get these guys corralled up back here off this point behind the boat. These fish will absolutely smell the juiciness that uh, these pilchards and the guts and the gunk and whatnot has and uh, they'll hopefully start schooling up or, or start working behind the boat trying to figure out where that's coming from. I don't have a pile of them but I got enough to get me started. There's bait all over the place too, so if I run out of bait, it won't take me, uh-oh, I got bloody. It won't take me but five minutes to get out here and uh, go net some more bait. Got something on here. He didn't even know he was hooked. I didn't even know he was hooked. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Come on up. Let's see what you is. Oh, big redfish. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we came out here for. Let's get this girl in. Woo! Yes, dude. <laughs> That's a big fish. That's what I'm talking about. And the funny thing is, guys, I didn't I did not even know I was hooked. Oh, she's tagged. How awesome is that? Oh, this is my first caught tagged redfish. How sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll run you guys through the, uh, through the protocol on what to do when you catch one of these big tagged redfish like this. So let's go ahead and get her, oh, 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 ow. Let's get her unhooked. All right, that's out of the way. Let's get the line out of here. Get that out of the way. All right. Let's slide her over. Grab a measurement. Ah, easy, easy. Boy, she is an absolute football. All right, tail's pinched. 30 inch, beautiful fish. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm just going to document uh, the uh, the serial number that is on this tag and I'm gonna leave the tag in. I'm not gonna pull it out and put my own tag in It just doesn't make any sense uh, But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Georgia DNR because it is a Georgia tag and uh, I'm gonna see uh, where this fish was uh, caught and whatnot and actually I'll splash that information on the screen right down here uh, Just give us an idea of how far these uh, redfish are traveling All right, check out this big tagged girl, huh? <laughs> so let's get her back Just kind of holding on to her here, waiting for her to kick. I don't have the best grip. My gloves are a little slick and she's a little big to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna hold her face into the current like this. Kind of move her around. And I wanna wait for her to kick off. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she was just waiting for me to let go just a little bit. 
Wow, how awesome is that? That is a 30 inch redfish. That fish was, is the fattest 30 inch redfish I have ever caught to date. Uh, she's healthy, she's out here eating really good. Um, picked her up honestly right at the point I was just about to move because I hadn't got a bite in a while. And the rod ticked just a little bit earlier. Uh, I didn't think it was anything, nothing really took off running with it because I had the drag set very, very light. Um, but as soon as I uh, started reeling that thing in, honestly, just to relocate spots, I noticed I had some weight on it and bang, there you go. 30 inch redfish. So uh, yeah, let's get re-rigged. Let's see if we can find another one like that. That was awesome. That one rebaited back out. I think I've got something on here. Something hit it real big. What we got? There she is. Wake up, baby. <laughs> We're recording. We're recording. Making a run again. Be that redfish I'm looking for. <laughs> Come on over this way. Playing a rodeo with the rods here. Come on up. Yes, another big redfish. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 